These drinks have one thing in common. They all have large amounts of sugar in them. Fanta and Lucozade have the least amount, while Coke, Red Bull and Monster have much larger amounts. They have over 10 grams per 100 millilitres. Mountain Dew, however, beats them all hands down, having over 13 grams per 100 mil of sugar. But bottles are larger than 100 mil. A bottle of Mountain Dew has 65 grams of sugar in it. That's over 16 teaspoons. A 500 gram can of Monster has nearly 14 teaspoons of sugar, and Red Bull and Coke have around 13 teaspoons. And what's a healthy amount of sugar to have in one day? Just seven teaspoons. Yes, seven teaspoons. How many? Seven. <laughs> now, if I set fire to that, is it going to burn? Yeah, you no. Go. No. Sugar is the energy that we use to fuel our bodies, just like cars use petrol or diesel. We investigated the amount of energy in seven teaspoons of sugar by setting it on fire and seeing how much it burned. We then did the same thing with 13 teaspoons of sugar. That's the amount in a bottle of Coke. You're not going to be able to set fire to sugar, huh? not going to work out. Huh? Yeah, it's not Is, really is it going to set fire? No. It's sticking to the... It's oh, now sticking you can eat match. it like a lollipop. <laughs> and it's bubbling away there, but it's not setting fire to. But you can't just set fire to sugar. We know. We tried. It needs to be oxygenated, and to do this, we used potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate doesn't burn on its own either. We know that because we tried that too. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mix the two together. I'm going to pour the sugar in. Can I have that one? No, I don't want that one. And I'm going to pour yes, the what? potassium nitrate in. And now what we're going to have is all the sugar is going to mix up with this oxygen rich potassium nitrate. And that oxygenates the sugar. So I've got a combination of the sugar and the potassium nitrate which is going in the fire pit. When you mix a fuel with oxygen and apply a lot of heat, a chemical reaction called combustion happens. When we have combustion, chemical energy is released. And when we set fire to a mix of sugar and potassium nitrate causing combustion, we can observe how much energy the sugar releases. Back up, people. We used ultra slow motion cameras to capture the combustion at 1000 frames per second. The footage was amazing and showed these bubbles of oxygen forming in the flame. I'm assuming that that's from the potassium nitrate, but if anybody has an explanation as to how and why this happens, please comment below. Whoa! That's good. Smell the smoke. Ew! Why is it pink flame? The colour of a flame tells you how hot it is. A red flame is the coolest flame, burning between 500 degrees Kelvin and 2000 degrees Kelvin. The hottest flame is blue, which burns between 8000 degrees Kelvin and 12000 degrees Kelvin. This flame went pink, orange, and it also went white. That means seven teaspoons of sugar burns between 2500 degrees Kelvin and 6000 degrees Kelvin. That's extremely hot. We then repeated the whole process, but with 13 teaspoons of sugar. how much energy you put into your body when you drink a bottle of coke. It's not surprising that the human body can't cope with this much sugar. It's just too much to process, and in the long term it can lead to ill health such as obesity and diabetes. So do you have too much sugar in your diet? How many energy drinks or sugary drinks do you drink every day? <laughs>